I'm Tim Tyler, and I'm an artist. I was just like everybody else. I was a five-year-old artist, and I just didn't quit. I mean, half of America you know, started out as artist. I studied art in college. Uh, my first year was here in Arkansas. I immediately wanted to jump in. I started working quickly, and I moved to Arizona. I was in Scottsdale, Arizona, where there was this booming art market at the time. I sort of shifted my art towards the Western landscapes and historic paintings. That was not really my forte. It wasn't really where my heart was. So as I've grown through the years, for 45 years of this, my stuff has changed as I've changed. I really like to do figurative work if I can swing that. I would argue that in any given art show, the figures win. You put a still life next to a landscape, next to a figurative painting, everybody's gonna look at the figure. I paint big paintings that are way above my scope because it does keep you engaged to aim a little higher. Little still lives, you know, I can do those without breaking a sweat. I do them before breakfast, but when you create something really big, it kind of gets your attention. One of the things that's sort of unique to me is the, the broad stylistic choices and the broad range of subject matter. Galleries and museums really like you to be the guy who paints Western landscapes or the guy who paints still lives of onions. And I rather think that's diminutive and boring at some point. I take commissions to paint somebody's historic home. I do portraits, I do landscape commissions even. So that's, that's kind of nice, that's nice for me, but it confuses the biographers and the galleries. When I'm allowed to paint these figurative pieces that are gonna travel the nation, that's what really gets me. I like the fact that you get a great range of freedom as to what you do, as to what you depict, what area you depict. This is the daughter of Midas back here. No one's ever painted the daughter of Midas. It's in our mind, but no one's ever decided, I'm gonna take that moment and make a painting of it. And so this could be the painting of Midas' daughter. We who paint professionally can't wait for inspiration because as a friend of mine said unless I go into the studio nothing happens and so we just do it routinely sometimes I paint until 10 o'clock at night the more elaborate a painting is the more preparation I give it after four decades of doing this I, I know what will work and I've established my own little formula and ritual you're not just throwing paint at a canvas and hoping for the best. And that's fine if others want to do that, it's just not my forte. Mine is more with forethought. The culture has, has uh, retained some of its original qualities, but it certainly has evolved and continues to almost weekly. I started Studio 7 doing regular classes and some of these people had just barely painted. And one of them is selling paintings regularly now Another one just got a $2,000 commission for a painting. And so these people have gone from opening up their first tube of paint to already becoming competitors. The culture is becoming diverse and fun. It is so cool. <laughs>